And let me go back to, I'm going to go to, now again, God seems to be preoccupied with the generations. In his word, there are 1,314 passages of scripture that speaks about parents and children. Why? Because, you know what it says? if you do not understand the vision of the Father, I always say this, we will end up eating grass. Amen. Because I'm going to tell you why are we going to eat grass? Because of selfishness. Because of looking for benefits. Because of being interested in only what you want to hear. Not what God wants you to hear. Hello? If you are interested in what God is interested, that is also going to uh, 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 make you to reach the desired end. I put it that way. In that context, desired end about your life. Then that will be with God. Your desired destiny, your desired end, God holds it. It's not about what I want to hear. It's about what God wants me to hear. I mean, as we said, I mean, the churches are like that now. That is why people, they just move from church to church. They come to this one, they listen. They say, this is not what I want to hear. And they leave that one. If you want to choose a church, choose it by its authenticity to, to the word. Okay. Not choosing it by worship, not choosing it by jumping, choose it by how, let me tell, <laughs> by how it presents the truth which is the word of God. Yeah. Now, when you want to, <laughs> to live right and make right choices in this life, especially talking about godly I mean, principles. You must always compare the truth that you hear from a person with the truth. Yes. Amen. So like, with the truth. And you compare the truth that you read with the lifestyle of the person that is t telling you the truth. And the third one, compare that truth with the spirits. Because again, when a person says, eat grass, then that's another spirit. <laughs> Amen. Compare the truth with the word, truth. Compare the truth with the lifestyle of a person. Compare the truth with the, the spirits. Test the spirits. If they truly they are coming dodge from God. That is why we equip you so that you have an ability to discern. And nobody does that for you. This gathering is a good gathering. It's a company of people, of God's people who can hear. Who has got uh, who have abilities to hear God's voice? There's a reason why you are here today. And there's a reason that you continue to come and sit here. Because you hear, you listen. When you listen, you discern. Your heart is the best teacher when you are in line with the word of God. And so a person who does not read the word of God will always be deceived by every I mean, the person, every wind that comes his way, his way. Because the word of God is not, I mean, to serve God is not about, it's not about making religious chemics. You know, I met a person. You know, I was I mean, in, 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 the, in the old trans guy. Then this person I said, I asked, I asked this man, which church do you go to? You know, I mean, this has always been my uh, opening statement and my break, or how I break ice when I want to minister to a person. 
Because I know, and I think this is going to come and end now because people are not churched in any way. Now, then I asked him, which church do you go to? Is this my church? I said, yes. He said, this church is, my church is the church that claps three times. I said, oh. How does it say? Said, Have you ever heard about that church? It claps three times. I said, no. This is my first time doing it. No, it claps. Those are religious. Maybe there was somebody who was just where the rhythm of clapping three, three, three times. Who just loved it to clap three times. Then after that, it became a religion. I didn't talk about that. Who loved to clap three times. Tap, tap, tap. Like for instance, when you feel the presence of God, there are a couple of ways how we respond when we feel a God has touched us. Someone may say, ah. then you, you start a church of people. Ah. <laughs> because it's only one person. Maybe that person was a leader. Or the other one just responds, responds for the kick, kick, kick. Then the church will kick. And I've, I've seen others with. There are, there are those. One man. Then they fall into the very same trap. The Bible, the doctrine has got nothing to do with it. Compare the truth with the truth. Compare the truth with the lifestyle. Compare the truth with the spirits. Hello? Now, so concerning the father and the son and the son relationship, there are 2,208 verses that speaks about the relationship between a father and a son. Well, then what, what am I trying to do here? Mkwemde. I'm trying to say to you, Mkwemde, you and your sons, God is interested that you invest everything that he keeps on investing in you. You pass it on to the next generation. Because the God that we serve is interested that every generation must live righteously and also justice must be practiced in each and every generation. I can tell you, Mazarin, corruption, you can name it, it deprives people, your own people. You can be glad now when you are benefiting. But your own children, because whoever is involved in corrupt activities destroys the resources of the state for future, for, for, for future generations. Not for any other child, for your children. You know what comes up into my mind whenever I open up a tap and I leave it opened? Because I made, uh, I did studies uh, when I was doing my what, 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 what. Now, then, then I, wa I was re reading an article about something. Something about water scarcity. That they say if we keep on wasting water as we do now, by in 50 years to come, in fact, they said in 2020, if I'm, 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 I'm not be accurate about the, 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 the timing. But there's a time where they say that that generation of our own lines will have no water. But when are you will have water? But Abelina, think of Abandwana, children, and the children who will, not, who will live in a country where there's no water. Your own. Because the problem is that we do not think, I mean, we just think generally, but no, it's, it's okay with me and whatever. You do not think generational. 